Colorado State University seeks to fulfill their land-grant mission by connecting with communities and people across Colorado. But can art, and more specifically dance, be a way to engage with these communities? In this edition of Community Voices, you'll see how one class at CSU Dance is doing just that. Uh, my name is Grace Gallagher. I'm an assistant professor of dance here at CSU. I'm really interested in participation with dance, so how we're using dance as a way to build community. That's been our overall theme for this entire year. So the class is titled Repertory and Engagement, and it's a full year class. So in the fall, we build repertory that is performed in our concert. And then in the spring, the focus shifts to more engagement work, taking what we're doing here and bringing it out um, and engaging with communities of all kinds. I think the greatest thing is just getting to reach really young kids is one of the most fulfilling things to me. Um, we come in with them and maybe they're not the most interested at the beginning of the class, but we start moving with them and talking to them like they have valuable input because they do, but they maybe aren't always treated that way. And so we're really engaging with them and really allowing them to have a say in what's done. And you can really just see when they realize that they're really enjoying what they're doing and it's like a switch flips and suddenly they're so happy to be there and it makes the entire environment so, so amazing. I don't think everyone thinks about dance immediately as a method of engagement. Our students come back um, just glowing from some of these experiences. The effect I hope it has in the community is instilling not even the love for movement, but just the recognition that we truly are all dancers. In a lot of arenas, dance has been historically elite practice, right? In terms of the training and the genres. So to break that barrier and to bring dance to a community where maybe it's not as accessible, I think that is first and foremost of like a, a way that we try to do that is just like offering something that they don't have as readily available as we do here. Art gives us another way of seeing our world. Whether it's visual, whether it's physical, whether it's through music, it gives us another outlet to consider usually the things we consider on an everyday basis. I think it's a communication, a dialogue in a way, and I definitely feel like it was an eye-opening experience for other people who maybe don't see dance that often and they might see it as a way of something that they could possibly do or as a learning experience for themselves. The repertory that we've built is a funk-inspired piece um, that starts performative um, with one dancer planted in the audience that one of the dancers breaks the fourth wall, goes out, brings her on stage, they do something performative, and then by the end there's a moment where the music clicks onto the electric slide and everybody through the invitation of this really um, <laughs> loud sign that the students decorated themselves that says, come dance with us. We invite the audience to come participate and to dance with us um, in a way, in a social dance that hopefully feels inviting. One of the projects we're working on with this class is a partnership with the city of Fort Collins. Arts and creativity are critical to people's daily lives. And there's different ways you can do that. You can seek that out yourself, right? You can be a passive observer, or it can just come up to you unexpectedly. One of the fun elements of this, this new program is what we refer to as pop-ups. 
that all of a sudden dancers appear, right? You're at Foothills Mall um, on a Saturday for the farmer's market and there's three dancers dancing throughout the building. With the collaboration between CSU's dance department and Grace, we really tried to co-create these experiences with students. I think for the opportunity to introduce dance to communities might not be an opportunity that many of those folks have had before. And I think that's some of the importance behind this work, to integrate arts into the community as a way to introduce people to something that could help express themselves in ways that they might not have had the tools to express themselves before, but also improving physical health too. The way the cultures uh, split up so much and what you hear on the news is so distracting and, and, and negative. And, and when you come back to grassroots into small towns like this, then, then you feel the oneness again and people can be happy and relaxed and, and in touch with their feelings and be more expressive and be more positive. We really need it. I think CSC is wonderful because it's a land-grant university, so we have an obligation to our communities. Obligation in a very positive way. A university is a wealth of resources, right? And so CSU, because of um, the way that it's built with extended campus, we're everywhere. We're not just in Fort Collins. Um, but we want to know what people want.